ladies and gentlemen. I want to thank August Dreams for sending this story. And this is The Guardian. Police drop charges against a black man arrested for walking home in Texas snowstorm. So, you know, again, it goes back to when I talk to foreign blacks and they think things aren't going to happen to them. Always let them know you don't have to commit a crime to be stopped by a cop or to be jailed in America. America will jail your ass for nothing and won't care. And when did walking in the snow become a crime? When did this become a crime? Unbelievable. So this is February 22nd, 2021. A misdemeanor charge has been dropped against a black man who was arrested last week for walking home on a street during a snowstorm in Texas. Do you know how many people I see around here walking through snowstorms? Damn near all the time. All the time. How the hell does that look suspicious? Oh, y'all ain't no good. You ain't no damn good. And this is why your country has fallen apart. Rodney Reese, 18, was arrested on February 16th in Plano and charged with being a pedestrian in the roadway, news outlets report. If you're walking along, how are you obstructing a roadway and you're walking? Oh, they just make any damn thing up. Police said officers received a call about a black man. Okay, here we go with the suspicious black man. Seen stumbling along the middle of a snowy street wearing a short sleeve shirt and were sent to perform a wellness check. You, you ever notice that too? When they get on the phone with the police, because I've heard some of these on video, they go overboard in exaggerating what they see. You notice that? I know many of you do because I've noticed it for years. Like if a black man is walking down the street, the black man is walking down the street and looking in windows of houses and he's just walking down the street. They'll do stuff like that. Oh, the black man walked down the street. I got scared. He stared directly at me real hard. You know, they always got to add some crazy twist to it. Okay. Police released body cam footage of the encounter on Facebook on Friday. In the video, police are seen following Reese, repeatedly asking him where he was going. He doesn't have to tell police officers where he's going if no crime is being committed. Mm-mm-mm. And, and if he was okay. Again, I, I don't see the crime here. Just like I don't in many cases. To then he replies that he's fine and he is on his way home. That should have been enough. He said he was fine and he was on his way home. And here they go make it a big issue out of that. Reese told KDFW TV that he was walking home from his job at Walmart and didn't stop for the officers because he didn't need help. Officers continued to follow Reese for about two minutes before stopping him, telling him they were doing an investigation on what? Someone walking? Oh, man, let me know when you really got a job to do. Again, if these police officers don't have enough to do with their daily time on the job, they need to be laid off. How is this doing a job and you're protecting the community against someone walking home from their job? How is that protecting the community? You need to be laid off. So informing him that he was being detained, he was being detained, y'all, for walking home from work. Ain't this some shit? Reese said no and continued to walk. 
but was stopped again in the video. A brief scuffle is seen as the officers attempt to handcuff him. They're handcuffing a dude that's just walking home from work. <laughs> I mean, y'all, you, you see how they create a crime out of no crime? That's what they actually do all the time. Who can be heard asking to be released? According to the Facebook post, the arresting officer noted that Reese <coughs> resisted arrest. <laughs> but chose not to charge him. You didn't have nothing to charge him with. You didn't have no crime. Mm, mm -mm. Plano police chief Ed Drain told KDFW TV, the charges were dropped because the arrest wasn't consistent with why the officers were called to investigate. They should have taken him home is where is what they should have done. Yeah, if it was snowing out and if he was having trouble walking in the snow, that's the least you could have done is drop him off at his front door. Be helpful. No, they weren't there to be helpful. Drain backed his officer stating that at the time of the arrest, they didn't know Reese's age and where he worked or where he lived, but you weren't trying to find that out. You just detained him. And you didn't have a good reason to detain him. That's why you had to let him go. You didn't have nothing. Reese said he believes the call brought officers to the scene and his subsequent arrest was based on the color of his skin. And he's absolutely right. Because they wouldn't have done that to a white man walking home from work in the snow. You wouldn't have done that and you know it. This is a bunch of BS. The usual BS that we look at all the time. They'll stop you. There's no crime going on. Just like Karen got her ugly ass out in the street trying to call the police and never a crime going on. You ever notice 100% of the time in the Karen videos, there's never a crime going on. 100% of the time. <laughs> okay. Enough said. These people are just looking to bother us. That's all it's about. But y'all, please tell me what you think. Please leave your comment and subscribe. Don't forget to hit on the notification bell and I'll see you on the next video. Peace, family.